What the hell are you doing? Are you serious? Are you trying to drop ship without a license here? You don't even know what type of store is the best to start depending on the situation you're currently in? Well, clearly, you're a noob, and you need to be educated because today, my friends, we are going to be answering the age-old question. What really is the best type of dropshipping store to start? We're going to cover the pros, the cons, and exactly what you need to know before making that decision of starting your first ever dropshipping store. What is poppin' everybody? My name is Ethan Dobbins if you're new around here. And if you are new, make sure to hit that subscribe button down below. It ain't gonna bite you, it ain't gonna hurt. In fact, it's gonna give you notifications for the latest and the greatest strategies of 2020 and beyond for your dropshipping store on how to make more sales, new apps that you need to know, and all types of dropshipping knowledge that can help you grow your brand. So today is going to be nothing short of that because we're going to be covering the three types of dropshipping stores, the pros, the cons, really everything you need to know before starting your first dropshipping store, as I said earlier. But the first type of store we're going to talk about today is is the one product store. Now, a bunch of people have been talking about one product stores, even the top dogs like Scott Hilsey. In fact, he built a whole course around that concept. Now, the thing I would have liked to find out is what happened after he made the 200 grand with his store, because the one real problem with one product stores is that they're not built to last. It's not great for longevity because once that product gets saturated, you reach the market, and you know the cost per purchase keeps on increasing to a point where it doesn't make sense to sell that product anymore, you can't really do anything with the store. You have all these customers, you've built up all these followers, you spent all this money, but you can't do anything because there's nothing new to sell. So we're gonna break down all the types of stores, but we're gonna start with one product stores. Now the main benefits of starting a one product store is that it will look super branded. Like the Rev Knee right here, this looks like they own the product. I mean, this anti-gravity knee brace, it's done super well this year. Health products do really well. And as you can tell, they put so much time into this product description. It does look super branded. It does look very professional. And I can guarantee conversion rates on one product stores are always better than niche in general. But again, as I said, the one problem is once you make your money, once you get your sales, there's really nothing else you can do because you're not selling any other products. So I can bet what you, this person did is they made a ton of sales over the course of a few months and they cashed out. They deleted the page because it wasn't profitable anymore and they had to start all over. So they got all of this money, but now they have to go back from scratch. So here's the thing. If you're actually looking for the fastest way to make money with dropshipping, it definitely is a one product store because you will get higher conversion rates, you will get higher product success rates. Typically the average dropshipper has about a 10% success rate with products, but when you're building a whole brand around it, I would say the number increases to around 20%, so double the odds. And if you put the time and effort like they did right here with the Rev Knee, this one product, you're gonna make sales guaranteed. I have no doubt about that. This product was scaled by this business, but as we said, it's only gonna last a couple of months because most dropshipping products only last about three to six months. So you might get an initial cash boost, but if you're thinking long-term, you don't wanna do one product stores because they do die down and all of the work you put in over those months goes to waste. You have to start from zero. But if you're looking for a way to make money fast with this, it's definitely the one product store route. All right, so these are the pros and cons behind starting your own one product store. So first off, when you pick the product you really like, it's gonna look super branded because you're building the website, the logo, the name, everything around that one product, and it's gonna look professional and trustworthy, which is great. And as a result, you're gonna have a higher conversion rate. Typically, this is actually the type of store that gets the highest conversion rate. Around five to 7% of customers will buy, which is awesome. And you typically have a higher product success rate because you're putting all of this time and effort into this one product. Now, the cons are it's very high risk, meaning if you go all in on that product and it's a dud, well, all of your hard work just went to waste because you can't sell a product that people don't want. You can't sell rocks to cavemen. The product's the most important part of the dropshipping experience. And then finally, it's short term only. So even if you do get lucky and you hit the right product and you build the right store around it, 
it's only gonna last a couple of months. It's gonna eventually die out and you're not gonna have a plan for how do I remarket to these customers and how do I keep on growing this brand when you don't have new products to sell to them. Now the next type of store is a niche store. These are my favorite because you can still make them extremely branded. You can test a bunch of products. These can be super long term. I'm still running some of my stores from three years ago and really you're gonna build this around a hobby or interest of yours. And the reason why you're gonna pick a niche that you're actually knowledgeable in is because you'll know which products catch the eye of your target customer since well you're a target customer yourself you fall in that category so you also know how to market to them because you're just gonna say what are the words that sell to you why would you want to buy it and then you just say it in your ad copy and videos now for me I actually got started with sports jewelry that's how I made my living selling football necklaces baseball necklaces that's how I started because I was in that target demographic I was a teenager who played sports who loved wearing jewelry and games so I knew exactly how to talk to my target audience since I was one of those people I was just speaking to my people which is what made the marketing so easy and when you look around on the internet most big brands out there are niche stores I mean you look at Kylie's cosmetics you look at any clothing store that's been scaled to seven and eight figures they're all in one niche because they're super branded they're really easy to do and they last for the long term so this is why i like them the most and we're going to take a look at an example of a few of these brands so quick side note if you're looking for inspiration for your dropshipping store you just don't know where to get started i highly recommend going on to drop point and then just looking up your niche in the keyword section and when you do this, you can see different websites and different ads that are actually converting and are successful right now. As you can see right here, this ad was seen 11 hours ago. We click onto the website and this is what it looks like. I mean, check this out. Really simple. You can see what product descriptions are working. This is a very simple brand, nothing too crazy to it. And you know, I found some other brands out there that you know you can model. If you just literally look up any type of store, but here we go, we got a cool niche store. Let's take a little look shop now and we got different collections that you can see so this is an example of a niche store you know they're built around the dog niche and just selling products for that now I'm going to show you two examples of my favorite niche dropshipping stores out there now the first one is our picture play on words I see you from architecture right there not too shabby very clever people and it's just a super branded and professional niche store I think they've done a perfect job you can't do better than this I mean they got sezzle so you can do interest-free payments I mean look at this description short simple it's easy to read they got great pictures buttons are clean I mean look at that effect and then you scroll down it just looks very branded this looks like a store I mean they got GQ all this stuff it's really beautiful and the reviews are not too shabby as well they're super clean this is what you want your store to look like if you're building a niche store and another one right here a dropshipping store this is men's luxury boutique selling dropshipping shoes and they just go all in with the pictures and it's doing extremely well if you look up their ads manager right now some of their ads have millions of views so you know they're doing well they got some good tabs good size chart which is really important for shoes because obviously it can be a little bit of a hassle when you order shoes online it doesn't always fit but I absolutely love this brand they got a lot of cool designs I mean look at this blaze sneaker but you cannot go wrong by modeling the best people in your niche so the pros and cons behind starting your own niche store is that it is super branded if you do it the right way I mean if you look at Kylie's Cosmetics or any top clothing store they know how to brand it the right way by putting in the time into their website product pages and social media these typically have high conversion rates of around two to five percent but you obviously have to have a good offer and a good product that people want and the thing I like the most is it's flexible with product testing you can't do that with a one product store you're going all in with one product but with a niche store you typically have thousands of products in the niche that you're in to test like with dogs I mean there's tens of thousands of products and I like to keep my options flexible just like my relationships and it's a medium risk so if you pick the wrong niche that's really the only risk so you don't want to be super specific like selling products for underwater basket weaving but you don't want to be too saturated because I think baby stuff is super saturated there's so many players so it can be really hard to differentiate yourself and actually make money with that niche but they are good long-term plays these stores can last years decades you see it all the time manscaped all of these big clothing stores last decades because it does work now I think this final store gets a lot of hate for no reason because general stores allow you to test any product you want in any niche so if the next fidget spinner trend does arise you can hop on it and make money 
instantly compared to if I was a clothing store and I tried to sell fidget spinners, it wouldn't make any sense. So you can hop on any trend, you can sell any product you want, and that's why these stores also are very profitable. So if you're having trouble picking a niche, you just don't know what really piques your interest, you're like a teenager and you like absolutely nothing at all, then start a general store. There's no problem with doing that. They are insanely profitable because you can test so many different products. And really, some of the best dropshippers out there love general stores for product testing. And then once they find a product that's working well, on the general store, they build a one product store around that. That's a very insanely successful strategy that you can do because if a product's working on a general store, then it's gonna work way better with a one product store where you're putting all your energy and focus on marketing that winning product. Now this might be the most successful general store that I'm actually aware of because I know they do about 100 to 200 grand in revenue every single month. And I know that might sound crazy when you look at the branding, like it's a very generic logo, the banner is pretty blurry, but the products they test are products that people want and they know how to market and make ads that convert. So as you can see right here, we got very cool products that are unique, that are eye-catching, like a 10-in-1 chainsaw sharpening kit. So they got all these trust badges, they got some good gifts, product descriptions, they make their product descriptions the same way every time, and it works. They get great results, you can look up the traffic numbers, and they're consistently generating 50 to 100,000 visitors every single month. So if you wanna start your own general store, I highly recommend having a generic type of name, having a little bit of a generic logo, I would try to make it more professional than that, but taking the same idea when you're finding products. Look for stuff that's super eye-catching, that people would impulse buy, so that's typically products under $50, and make very high-quality video ads that convert when you're selling them. It's just a very organized operation. Every single product they test, they do the exact same way. They have a very cool name, they have the trust badges, and the way they format their product description is the same every single time. So they have a formula that works, and I would recommend no matter what type of store you start, having a formula that you do for every single aspect of your business, because it saves time, it's more efficient, and you're gonna find winners much faster. Now the pros and cons behind starting your own general store. First off, it's not gonna be super branded. It's very hard to come up with a name and logo that encapsulates all the different types of niches. I don't think it's really possible. People like to do you know, something palace, like product palace, prime palace. So they like to have the word palace, heaven, haven, or hub to describe it because those are very general terms. Uh, typically, these stores have the lowest conversion rate because they're not super branded, but the greatest part of it is you can test any product. So you can catch on to any trend that's happening. Fidget spinners, you can do that for your general store, but if you're in a men's clothing store or if you're only selling one product, you can't sell that fidget spinner. So you can capture any trend, you can sell any product, and it's very low risk because of that. You can test any product you want. And it's a very good long-term play because all year you're gonna see different products for the different types of seasons. So you can sell winter products during winter, you can sell you know, summer products during summer, any product you want, that's the greatest part of it. And if you find a product that's working well in your general store, you can build a one product store around it. So I highly recommend if you don't have a niche that really sticks out to you or a product you really like, start with the general store, it's very low risk, and you can keep running these for years upon years. So hopefully that gives you all the information that you need to pick the right store for you depending on your situation. But if you're looking for more help and guidance on your dropshipping journey and learning the right strategies behind picking the right winning products to build your stores around, behind advertising those products successfully so that you can scale those stores, then I actually do have a 30 minute training video that explains how I find my products and how I take complete dropshipping beginners and scale their stores to thousand dollars a day in 90 days or less all you have to do is click the link down below this video to get my personal coaching one-to-one -one for a whole entire year so check out that video fill an application and book a call to talk to me or my team to see if you're a good fit for that program it's not a hard sell or anything like that we're just here to see if you're a good fit and if we can help you out We'll tell you that. But I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Feel free to like down below just to show me that you're enjoying this type of content and subscribe if you want more tips and tricks to grow your dropshipping brand. But everybody, time has come. It has been a pleasure getting to entertain and educate you at the same time. But you have to remember, 
only one thing solo mente stay humble and always do some freaking numbers <laughs>